Oh, good morning. We're in. We are live on the Van Messers Comb Show, and YouTube again is doing some weird, funky stuff. It's going to be a Fortune Cookie Friday. Yay! It's about 8.47 in the morning. It goes to the phone when you ring that little bell. When you ring that bell, you get notification when we go live or put up new posts for videos and stuff like that. Hope you're doing well today. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, and Agile Scrum. Scrum Master, maybe. <laughs> Scrum Master and Agile Coach. And today is Friday. Um, and it's our 457th show, right? And what do we do here? We talk about Agile and Scrum, have a little fun, do some Coke experiments. Uh, Coke and Mentos. Fortune Cookie Friday, yes. Fortune Cookie Friday. And um, trying to enjoy things. And, and today's Friday, and I wanted to take it a little lighter than normal and getting all like, how do you do this? And this is that, and that's bad, and this is good. And so we're going to do a little fun stuff today. We're going to talk about um, visualizing your perfect team. So we're going to do a little happy thing. And then we're going to do Fortune Cookie Friday. We'll keep it light and airy, and we're going to go for it. Um, so yesterday, YouTube did some funky stuff, man. Just want to give you a little heads up because you do this every day. And I just want to share what's going on social media. I always hear Eddie's, Eddie is on the YouTube. Um, so, you know, everybody complains about stuff going change and everything. Well, right after we recorded the episode of this yesterday, I saw on YouTube trying to edit and everything got changed. Where things were, they had a tab, no tab. The whole layout was changed. You know what? YouTube doesn't tell you anything about what they're going to drop on you from a change perspective. And I'm kind of wondering if that is why everything hiccuped up <laughs> yesterday when I was trying to start the video. I don't know. But, you know, everybody says it, but stuff changes. You got no control. It's a, it's a service that you have. You deal with it. You go with it and you do the best you can. And that's what we do in a lot of places that you just don't have control over stuff, but that's okay. You work without it. So anyway, let's do happy stuff. Um, uh oh, uh oh, what are you doing? Why? Why are you here? Did you see what I texted? Yeah, I see it right there. <laughs> I, I can see it. Hi. Hi. I, I, I'm about to do the vision perfect team. What do you envision? What should be on the perfect team? Where are you going? Come back here. You can't just come into the show and then disappear. So visualizing a perfect team. I think you should be a little crazy. What do you think? Should everybody have a kitten? <laughs> should everyone have a kitten on their perfect team? Um, but anyway, I think something fun to do with your teams would kind of visualize the perfect team. What would they want on the perfect team? And be a little crazy. Like here's some things I thought of. Maybe they all should have kittens. You know, adopt a kitten. <laughs> Go to the local, uh, um, what do you want to call it? Uh, rescue, right? Rescue and go adopt a kitten maybe or a dog. Um, but and, anyway. And something big. Something big. Like big cats. Because sometimes people only want little cats. Oh, they want little cats. And little dogs. They want to, oh, so he's saying get an older dog or cat and not just little kittens. It's a good thought, Eddie. I appreciate that. Um, but visualizing the perfect team. Be a little crazy. How about this? We have video game Fridays, and we all get on virtually online and play a video game. I think that would be awesome. I like. I came up with this uh, virtual reality Thursdays. Maybe some people got VR and got your laptops or whatever. I don't know if you can do it on your work computer so much. But maybe take a virtual trip to someplace outside of the city or outside of your quarantine area as a group and go check stuff out and explore little areas like, hey, can we all go here and work as a team to explore some virtual um, parks or something, maybe national parks. That'd be pretty cool. Um, so do some fun stuff, right? What is the visual? Should everybody have a kitten? A kitten. You know, you saw the video with them. We, we, can you draw in a kitten? Right, Bubbles? Can we draw in a kit? Anyway, being goofy, it's Friday. Um, and then be a little normal also in, in the perfect team. So get a little crazy. Okay, so expand the mind. Say so expand the mind to whatever you can possibly think of that you would love to do as a team that may be non-affordable, maybe go to the moon together. I don't know. 
um, ship your boss to Mars or something like that. One way trip or, or, or an asteroid, who knows, depends on how good your boss is. Um, but then also be a little normal. So my like quick stuff, like it'd be nice to have quick responses when you have questions. Like if you have a, a Slack channel, Mattermost, Teams, whatever would be your thing that the team would help respond pretty quickly. Um, super fast environments, like uh, no latent, like I turn it on and boom, it's in there. Um, apps, all the apps that you can dream up for being a developer or a tester or whatever, have access to those tools to help you um, provide product for the customer. So stuff like that, just positive stuff, just have some fun, go out there and um, try to dream up what the perfect team is. And, and and I don't know where to go from there, but at least dreaming up, have a thing. I think it would be nice to say, okay, is there anything we could do to get us close to those things? What would we have to do? Would somebody like to, let's say you wanted to do a virtual Friday, make a story, right? or virtual Thursday, make a story. Somebody on a team or a couple of people say, okay, I'm going to put a one point story in my backlog and we're going to go out and take some time. We're going to look at what kind of virtual environment things are out there that we as a team can join in maybe off work on, I don't know if you can do it on your computer or work or whatever you do it in your personal, you do it on your phone, however it would be. Cause I know you put the little phone things on your face now um, and do that and try it out. Right. And and then they report out and maybe maybe the retro the, or the demo. This would be so cool. So if someone takes a story, just picture this, takes a story, goes out, and then um, demos it at the sprint review. That would be that would be so much fun. We need more fun. I would do it in a heartbeat. Maybe I should. Um, that's what I got. It's Friday. It's fun. Fun day. I got the T-shirt. I found my shirt. Buried, found, finally found my little shirt for a fortune cookie Friday. So, yay, we're going to do fortune cookie Friday, Bubbles. Bubbles tracked me down all the way from the bedroom. <laughs> She's following me. She's like, where are you going? I just want to, it's cold and rainy. You want a fortune cookie? Want a fortune cookie? Uh-oh, I opened the packaging from the Agile Accountants. Let's see what the Agile Accountants have to say. Make sure there's actually a, yep, there's a fortune in there. All right. I kind of saw it through the window, a little inspection window, right? There's a little inspection window in there. You can see the fortune cookie hidden there, tacked away by those Agile Accountants. We're going to open it. I'm going to make sure everybody sees. Don't think I'm trying to hide stuff and get conspiracy theories. He's peppering the fortune cookie. So I'm keeping it in front of you all the time. I am not a magician. Okay. What does the fortune cookie said? A friend who hasn't seen, okay, a friend who hasn't seen for a long time will help you out of a crisis. A friend who hasn't seen for a long time will help you out from crisis. A friend who hasn't seen for a long time will help you out from crisis. Nice. Okay, if you haven't seen somebody in a while, I think we talked about this a couple of episodes ago. If you haven't talked to a coworker in a while or someone used to have coffee worth or just say hi in the hallway because um, you were in the office, now with COVID, you haven't touched base with them, reach out, say hi, call them up, send an email. I have I have reached out a couple of coaches that I haven't talked to in a while just to see how they're doing, check in on them, make sure things are good, right? Um, even though I'm not coaching them right now or haven't done anything in, engaged in a while, I always check back with people and just see how you doing. Everything cool. Um, what's new in the world? What adventures are you going on now? Or, you know, just to check in. So maybe based on like our, a couple episodes ago, we said reach out to some people you've seen in the office. Maybe the fortune cookies saying, yeah, it's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. So do it again. Today's Friday. Take a little break. Reach out to somebody you haven't talked to in a while. See what they're doing over the weekend. Um, here in the East Coast, it's a rainy, gloomy weekend. I know. I feel sorry for people down in Louisiana. They got hurt by a hurricane. Their lives are miserable right now. Um, I wish them the best. Maybe you should reach out to some people down south and uh, see how they're doing. With that, I'm going to say, you know, that was a kind of gloomy thing. But reach out and say hi to somebody you haven't said hi to in a while. And, and. Have some fun. Relax. Enjoy some Friday time. That thumbs up. Please like our show. Share, share the show. 
ring the little bell when we put stuff out. Hopefully, we'll do some stuff this weekend. I don't know what the uh, it's so gloomy. Gosh, you know, gotta go out to the suburbs to get some stuff because some of the stores aren't open back up yet here in South Philadelphia. So we'll see what we do. All right, you all have an awesome day. See you Saturday and Sunday, and have some fun. All right, enjoy. Visualize the perfect team.